Welcome to the new Juno player. A new player is the most advanced music player you'll find on any website, and this video will show you how to use all its features, from basic operations such as playing and queuing tracks, to advanced functions like managing and sharing playlists. Before you start, you'll need to make sure you have a recent version of the Adobe Flash Player on your computer. You can download it free from adobe.com. There are two ways of adding a track to the player. Click the headphones icon on the website to start playing the track straight away. Or click the Q icon to add it to the current playlist. Once the track is being played, you can listen to any part of it by clicking on different parts of the waveform. You can move to the next track in the playlist by clicking the next track button. Or by clicking on the cover art on the track below. You can also drag tracks to move them around the playlist, delete any you don't want, or clear the whole playlist. To buy a track, just click the cart button. To add a track to your wishlist or DJ chart, just click the heart button. And you can add a rating or comment to the track by clicking the star button. You can then sort your playlist by rating, recently added, recently played, artist or label. And once you're happy with your selection, you can buy all the tracks in the playlist with one click. As well as the tracks you've added to the playlist, the Juno player allows you access to more music. You can click on any artist to see more tracks by that artist. Or click any label to see more tracks by that label. If at any time you're not sure what's playing, just click the Locate Currently Playing button to return to the current track in the playlist. The people who bought this pane shows you other tracks bought by people who bought the track you're currently listening to. As you start playing these tracks, the selection locks so you can work your way down the list. Then you can unlock the selection when you finish listening to them. Your playlist will normally be saved when you close and reopen the player, but if you want to come back to it on a different computer or keep multiple playlists, you can use the Save Playlist function. You can save as many playlists as you want, each with a name of up to 30 characters. Then open them again at any time. Then share them with your friends or fans on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace or Dig. If you want to post a playlist to your blog or your website, create a portable Juno player by pasting the code into your own site. And if you're a Juno affiliate, you can earn money from any customers who click on your player to make a purchase on Juno Download. If you don't need all the functionality of the player, you can click Collapse to create a smaller version of the player that just displays the current track. Or if you don't want it in a separate window, just click Dock to embed it into the masthead of the Juno webpage. Finally, if for any reason you want to use your own player, for example if you're using a computer where you can't install Flash, just click Use Own Player to make it the default music player on Juno's websites. We hope you found this tutorial useful and enjoy all the functionality of Juno's new player. If you need any further help, just click the help button in the player or you can email feedback at juno.co.uk to ask any specific questions. Thanks for watching.